I'm going to be hurrying a little bit because of time. Another thing that must be enlarged in your life today is your coast. You know, like I said, my children have said almost everything. Maybe I'm repeating some of them. And they have quoted Isaiah 54 from verse 2 to 3. Isaiah 54, 2 to 3. Enlarge your tent. Spare not. Just make sure you are ready to take what is coming. You know, in Genesis chapter 13, if you read from verse 14 to 17, Genesis 13, 14 to 17, God told Abraham, he said, walk up and down the land so you'll be able to see more than you are seeing standing on one space or on one spot. As much as you can see, I give it to you. I want to prophesy to some before this time next year what you are calling big now you will call it small mm. enlarge your coast when we got our campground in America and they told me God had given us a campground I think about uh, 112 acres of land and my children took me there to go and see ah, I was glad hey, coming from Nigeria now having a camp in America, 114 acres. I told my children when they said it's time to go home, I said, go. Leave me here. Come back for me tomorrow. Just leave me in one bus. They left. That night, I came out when, when it was totally dark. Came out was a little bit of moonlight I began to pray God thank you God I, I, I appreciate you etc etc it, it was in the cold season after some time the cold was overwhelming so I went back into the into the van but my spirit was still racing so after I got warm a little I came out and suddenly I heard God say, take a walk. Walk up and down. The more you see, the more I will give you. <laughs> that night, I walked. Today, by the grace of God, what was 140 acres? It's now more than 800 acres. Because I walked. As I was walking, walking beyond our land, I saw a house next to our campground. Big house. And God said, look at that house. It's yours. Follow money when my children came. And I told them about the house. They said, Sir, please keep your mouth shut. This is America. You say anything like that, the owner will come with a gun and just shoot you. Two years later, the owner of the house says he wants to sell. My children went to negotiate. When they agreed on the price, they told him, do you know that two years ago, God told our father that this house is his own? He said, why didn't you tell me? He said, for two years, 
my wife and I have been racking our brains. Should we sell or should we not sell? Tonight, God will enlarge your vision. <laughs> and whatever he shows you, you will have it in Jesus' name. God bless you. God's word has come to us today. I'm, by the message of God, I'd like you to hack in onto the word of the Lord, take you to these instructions, and invite them into your life ensuring that they become fruitful in your life and don't forget if you're a new subscriber click the notification bell so as to stay in touch with our every uploads god bless you see you in our next video thank you